Black Shoals is a visualization of the stock markets and takes the form of a planetarium. And um, the stars in the sky are companies on world markets and they're fed by live data streams from the financial markets. We talked very much about the sublime when we first made this piece because it's very hard to visualize big lots of data and not try to make it beautiful. If you stand underneath the planetarium, you will see the stars flicker and glow. And when you see a star glowing, that's probably millions of dollars of trading happening. And in this world of um, stars that are moving into constellations, maybe galaxies, maybe even black holes, and there's some artificial life creatures that live in the sky and they are feeding from the light of the stars. The name Black Shoals comes from a formula that was developed by two people, Mr. Black and Mr. Shoals, and they developed a formula for calculating the risk of investing in an option on the stock market. And using that formula, they were able to invest virtually without risk and they developed a company called Long-Term Capital Management which was hugely successful until it wasn't and suddenly over the course of a few days um, something went wrong with their formula and their trading strategy and the company completely collapsed losing hundreds of billions of dollars over you know, in hours. One of the theories as to why it collapsed was that the, the formula didn't account for its own impact on the market. It wasn't, it didn't, wasn't sort of self-aware of what it, what it was doing. And so we thought there was kind of quite an interesting story to start with. The time when we first developed the project was the era of the dot-com boom. And it was the sort of era of Wired magazine and all that kind of Californian utopianism which would start to talk about the stock market as if it was something sort of sexy and exciting. I think what's, what's really interesting when you work with products over, over very long time frames is um, how they take on different meanings over time as the world change and we all change and world of finance changes and how it's impacting on us. So this project has, has has um, taken on an, a whole lot of different meanings over time and has been interpreted by so many people um, across many, many different disciplines and in uh, completely different ways. And that, I think, is um, really interesting. The Somerset House version is like obviously the most sophisticated version. It's got more bigger data feed than it ever has. and. The three months that it'll run for, we expect much more kind of complex results at the end than, than we've ever had before. I think when people go to see the piece, a lot of people just like to sit underneath it. We have bean bags in the exhibition that you can just lie around underneath the dome and look up at it. I think you are being seduced by this piece and you have to think about why you're being seduced.